Good day viewers, you are welcome to my channel, Amonichi Evangeline Choma. So in today's tutorials, I'll be teaching us how to make this beautiful customized bridal hand fan. The materials I have here include my feathers, trimmings, I have the plastic rubber hand fan, I have my sticks, okay, I have maxing tape, I have my wadding, I have my comb and the brush, then I have my foam. So let's proceed to the work, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do now is that I'm going to attach this um, stick, it's just stick, to the hand fan so as to make it longer, okay? So I just have to arrange it, arrange the stick. I'm using two small sticks, you can use two, okay? For the front and two for the back okay so i'll make sure that they are all equal but there is something i did off camera and i would like to show you you know um this part of the hand fan is quite bigger so i used my my scissors to you know trim it so that it won't be you know big here okay i used my scissors to cut out the fatness okay so it as you can see it's now very slim okay so i'm going to you know put my handle and use my tape to hold it down okay so i have gotten what i want now so i'll go ahead to start wrapping it with my tape okay so i'll start wrapping it this way until I get to the bottom of it, okay? So I went off camera to wrap it and I'm done wrapping it and I can't just leave it this way I have to use my foam to, you know, cover it up, okay? So what I will do now is that I cut out a piece of foam I will use it and cover this part up first. Use my tape or gum. You can use your gum. Cover it up. Then I will bring another piece. So this is the gum I'm using for this project. And um, I've applied gum here. So I'm going to, you know, gum it to it. Then I will do the same to the other side as well. So after gumming it like this, I will use my foam to, you know, wrap the handle, okay? You can first of all apply gum on the handle so that it will stick to it immediately, okay? So here I am applying gum on the handle so that it will stick to it. You can leave it for a while to dry, okay? But I don't have much time, so I'll go ahead and start wrapping it immediately, okay? So you can wrap it like two or three times. Then cut out the excess. I'm going to still apply gum here. So that it can hold the last one down okay so i'll cut out the excess so i'm done cutting it out and i'm not going to leave the foam this way i'm going to hold it down with my tape okay to make it more firm So I'll continue doing this until I get to the end, okay? So I'm done wrapping it and I want to cover this place up. 
so I'll do the same to the back and I forgot to tell you that the length of the stick I use is about seven inches you can make use of less than seven inches you can make use of more depends on what you want okay so i'm going to cover the handle and then before that i'm going to apply gum here randomly so it can help me hold it while i wrap it okay so if you have a fabric you can make use of a fabric you can make use of any material of your choice okay but for this project i'm using my wording this is the normal wording and tell us use okay so i'm going to cut out some piece then cover it up okay so i've actually cut it out and um, i'm going to gum it now So I'm going to apply gum here so as to gum this excess to the body of my fan, okay? So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do now is that I'm going to apply gum here randomly, okay? Especially at the edge, okay? So after applying gum, you can leave it to dry depending on the nature of your gum. Okay, so after that, I'm going to place my fan on the fabric I'm using. Okay. Then allow it to come to it. Then after that, I can go ahead and cut it out. Then I'm going to repeat the same process here. Okay. So I'm done fixing the wording on it you can make use of any fabric just like i said so the next thing and i did it for the front and the back so the next thing i'm going to do is to apply my gum you can use a, your candle wax comb okay but i'm using this gum for this project so i'm going to apply at the tip okay So I'm done applying gum, just like I said earlier, you can make use of any gum of your choice. Then I have my, my feathers already cut out, so I'm going to start fixing on it. You know, one thing about the feathers is that there's a curvy part and um, the other side is not curvy. So the curvy part will be on the fan while the less curvy part will face you, okay? So I'm going to start fixing it. I'm fixing it already. So I'm fixing at the tip. So we can have space at the center for embellishment, okay? Make sure it comes very well. So I'm going to apply gum here. going to also apply gum here then cut out the excess so after cutting out the excess I'm going to apply gum here on the sec for the second layer okay so this is it for the second layer I'm applying my gum very close to the first one So you can also apply gum on the first one okay this is just for us to have much space at the center for embellishment so 
So after that, I'm going to, you know, start putting my feathers right on it. So I'm going to still apply comb here so as to secure it down here. So this is what I have left. So now I'm going to apply comb here and attach my trimmings on it, okay? And um, this is the trimming I'm using for it. You can use any other trimming of your choice. So this is it. I have applied gum on the fabric and um, I want to start putting my trimmings and I'm putting it directly on the feathers, the, the bias on the feathers, that's where I'm putting it. So you can use any other trimming of your choice to embellish your work, okay? It all depends on how you want your work to, you know, come out. So I'm pressing it down, okay? So for this project, you need more than one pack of feather. As you can see, what I have left from one pack of feather is just this okay so this and um, this other one which will not be enough to do the back so just bear it in mind that you need more than one pack of feather for this project then it depends on the, the producer of the feather because there's a feather that i used that was able to cover both the front and the back and i still have some remaining okay so now for this other part i just have to cover it up with my gum i will have to apply gum here then just cover it up then after covering it after covering it i'll apply gum on my trimmings i'll apply gum on my trimmings and um, same with this place then i'll start from here then take it up just cover these parts cut it out so let me quickly cut it out just cut it out then apply gum here then stop wrapping my work with the streaming okay Make sure it's very neat and very firm too. Can you see? But you can even do this process first before putting your feathers okay attach your hand to before putting the feathers i usually do that but it skipped my mind then when you get to the end when it gets to the end you apply gum to hold it down just apply your gum to hold it down okay so this process you applied here make sure you do the same here okay apply your gums and feathers and trimming then for the embellishing part of it that's to customize it all you need is your leather okay this is the leather we need and um you are going to cut out the piece you want you can make use of two inches you can make use of three inches depending 
on how big or how bold you want it to appear but for this project i'm going to cut out width of one inch okay so after cutting out the desired um, length height you want and length you start putting what you want to put down the name you want to put down so as for me i'll be putting dovely that's my brand name so i'm going to be writing dovely here Oh, I think this is way too big. I think it's bigger than what I want. Let me reduce it. Reduced it to the size that I want. So I'm going to start putting the name I want. That's totally. So this is my D. This is my D. And um, the middle one. Just this. Then I have O here. If you cannot write this, then you give it to an artist to help you do. Or you print with a computer, then use it to cut it out. So let me go off camera and complete the rest, okay? So I'm done writing the name on it and um, the next thing I have to do is to cut it out individually so that I can carve it out, okay? So now I will start, you know, using my scissors to, you know, cut out the desired letter. So this is basically how I do it. And you can use any kind of leather for this project. Okay. So this is it and um I think I need to do the rest of camera so as to, you know, make this video as short as possible. It's already getting long, okay? So let me go off camera and do the rest, okay? So if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so and subscribe. Please subscribe, okay? So I'm trying to, you know make a hole here this one happened to be one of the most difficult ones but if you have a sharp scissors you can achieve it so i'm done cutting it out and um, this is what i have so for the other um symbol on it this is how to you know, draw it i'm not good at drawing but um, let me know how and go about it there's no measurement for it it just depends on what you want okay there's something like an elephant talks so i'm going to go ahead to you know cut it out okay so let me go ahead and cut it out and i'll show you so i've gone ahead to you know cut it out so the next thing i'm going to do now is that i'm going to arrange it the way i want it to be on my flower or my fan okay then after which i will apply gum on it So after arranging it, I will, I will remove it one after the other. Okay, this is it. So I'm going to be removing it one after the other. Then I apply comb and fix it back. Just doubly. Then after which I will also apply comb here. And um, you know, fix it the way I want it to be. 
so this is it you can you know fix your pearls embellish it the way you want it to be okay so that is just it about this thank you very much for watching it bye